Now, introduce who we have here, Amy. Oh my goodness gracious sakes alive. Now, I know you're here because of Rachel having a booth here. Yes. And uh, I did a little interview over there with her. She's right there across the way and doing really well. And uh, <laughs> she's moving today. And since she sent me a little invitation on Facebook, I uh, when I left church, I said, well, I'm going to hop in the car and go over there. And... Uh, uh, unfortunately, I got stuck in the traffic for an hour and 15 minutes on oh, no. 275, but the family made it, so I thought I'd do a couple little interviews. Now, Becky, you two grew up with each other, yes. and uh, uh, and this is your grand... This is my granddaughter, my only granddaughter. Your only granddaughter. Yeah, to say the least, she's uh, a little spoiled. spoiled <laughs> yes, I understand that. I have them grandchildren, too. In fact, yeah. I have a couple great ones great-grandchildren and Amy what's uh what's what's a uh, uh, Rachel's uh, business like can you give me a little rundown on it um, it's doing really well she sells her main product is the elderberry syrup which I use about every day so I've been putting it in my healthy smoothies to sweeten it up a bit but it's good for, it's for cold season flu season and just all, of her, all around prevention fantastic now, something happened with you the other night, too, and that is you had your last dance recital uh, for this year. Yes. And how'd that go? It went really well. We had two shows yesterday for Man Yet Dance. And, yep, we're really proud of all of our dancers. They did a great job. Did a beautiful job, don't they? I, I you know, I, I marvel. There's one thing I've got on YouTube yeah. that's called uh, History, Music, Butterflies, and the People Who Love Them. And uh, on that, I have one of your recitals where your mom danced in it. Okay. <laughs> probably Bailey was in that one. Right? Yes, probably was on that too. Well, it's on YouTube under that title. And uh, I interspersed pictures through it all the way too. But it's really neat. And I said, boy, they did a good job. Yeah. And then you were also on my first Santa Claus show. Yeah. Santa yeah. Education Ooh. Series. So that, that's a years ago, isn't it? Well, I love to do it. Love to do it and for the family, and uh, uh, you're all good, wonderful, God-fearing Christian people, and I appreciate that. Nice to see you all. Bye-bye. Becky, take care. Tell everybody I said hello. Rachel's, Rachel's a good salesperson, isn't she? Well, I'm going to slip down here and look at the chickens. Yeah, the chickens are cute. <laughs> now, folks, travels with the Stevenson. As you can see, I got my walker with me today and my boot on my leg. And uh, uh, with the eyes just having the cataracts removed, my sight's not too good. Uh, but you can tell one thing for sure, this is not level ground. <laughs> it's a little hilly here. So two young ladies, and their name are? Carly. And? Lauren. And they're going to be my videographers here and go around and film for me and uh, where'd you all go to school i went to simon kenton yes, oh simon kenton well, well guess where i went where? simon kenton no way <laughs> yes i graduated from simon kenton in 1961 and went on to be superintendent of education for the whole state of kentucky no way yeah i was the last elected one right from simon kenton high school no yeah that is small world a yeah, small world where i played basketball and baseball and ran track for many years yeah and then we married campbell county people yep. and, married, and i married a campbell county girl yeah. so <laughs> smartest move i ever made by yeah. the way smartest move our husband's ever made yeah. <laughs> right, right. now uh, so I got you all on here, and then I'll give you my camera in just a. Yeah, that's nice for yeah. Now hang on a second here. I gotta, I gotta get a little of this action here. I know we're gonna go around and get all the boots yeah. for him because it's slanted ground. Oh so yeah. So we be his videographer okay. for the Yeah, day. that's good. Good. We'll How get it. Funny. We'll caption, caption now, the day. This uh -huh. is my niece yeah. and and Aunt Miss June's one of Miss June's. Well, she would say I favorite am. nieces. That's right. Yeah. I am. <laughs> I, am. Yes. Wait, I thought I. Right. No, no. <laughs> like, wait, where do I fall in this? 
<laughs> and uh, but anyway, um, uh, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad I'm here. And uh, with engine here? No, no. Yeah. Sure. I, but the problems I got with my leg and that, right. I surprised her and told her I was coming straight over from church. Oh, uh, sweet. Uh, yes. Rachel invited me on That's Facebook, right. and I said, right. well, I'll come over. Oh, I didn't realize it was going to be downhill, so oh, these young ladies are going to help me. They're going to help you. Good. Yeah. Good, good, good. Thanks. Thanks. Jennifer, say hi to Miss June. Hi, Miss June. Hi, Big e, oh, yeah. I should say. I love you, and I miss you, and I'm praying for you. Absolutely. So we, we both right. need prayers yeah, for healing. Lots of prayers and healing, for sure. Lot, lost there her. are babies. The fur That's babies right. Babies, That's so. right. Absolutely. Mwah. Love you. Bye-bye. <laughs> You folks see Ken there, Jen's brother. A lot of you will remember from our shows, every time I drive down through 471 and go across into Cincinnati, right there at the tallest building in Cincinnati, you see the big, I think they call it a tiara on top of that building there, made out of steel beams. Well, Ken Guyman was an iron worker, and he was at the top of that and put on the last piece of steel in the top either steel or aluminum whatever the material was but that top he built that as an iron worker and did a beautiful job and you imagine being on top of that building the tallest building and and putting that in and he's even got his initials on the piece bim bean so i always tell people that's where my brother-in-law worked how are you doing good how are you i know i like your shades thank you where's the hub back Oh, I know. <laughs> uh, Carly's with me uh, right now, her wife. She's with me, so we came down here. Right. Now it started and the numbers are turning. Yeah. Okay. Start it on, leave it on while you're there filming, and then go up and take your subject and just push the little tiny camera. The little right? camera. That'll take a picture while, vi while videoing. Yeah. Did you see how it sort of jumped a little bit? Yeah. See oh, there? perfect. That lets you know it's taking the picture. And it keeps right on videoing. That way you don't have to stop and push off and on every time. Just leave it run. That way it'll be a, uh, oh, I can go up to 36 minutes. Oh, perfect. And I've already got seven on it, so you got plenty of time left. Perfect. So does that, does that help make it clear to oh, you? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, I'll leave it run there, and it's already running. Perfect. All right, we'll be back. Don't run off anywhere. Thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. So cute. I literally love him so much. I know. We got um, roped into being a videographer for Rachel's uncle that has his own little YouTube channel. So we're just going in, getting some videos of everything. Perfect. Beautiful. You can start get the chickens. Hello. Oh my god, they're so cute. This is the fancy chicken. We got requisitioned for a YouTube channel person, so, <laughs> so we're just getting everybody in here. Perfect. Awesome. Yep, everyone wave. <laughs> well, those are her door. I think those are the little um, air plants. I don't think I could possibly kill an air plant. <laughs> I know. That looks good for the video. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Queen. <laughs> I 
Rachel's uncle has me uh, going around and getting everybody's stuff. How about I'll come get you? <laughs> Do you, have, you do. I'll be back for the eucalyptus. That's what I was literally double checking on. I was kind of doing this video, but I was like, I need that for my shower. Desperately. <laughs> Give us a wave. Thank you. Your uncle commissioned me oh. to go around. One thing about this hill, not only that takes off, but this will take off too. <laughs> Okay, tell me a little bit about your company here. Well, Sherwood Forest Custom Creations. We're located in Union, Kentucky. We make uh, handcrafted toys. Um, I like to call them heirloom and collectible, but we have a wide range anywhere from the small toddler to the collector. Okay. It looks like you won a few awards over here. I'll zoom in on that. We've done quite well at some of the fairs and that. So okay. That best in show at New York State Fair. Seriously? Yep. Wow. I'm going to take a video of some of this here. Excuse me. Okay, you can, you can touch. 
You can touch it. Yeah, it was, it's, uh, it's nice. Behind that deer, so Amy will get mad at One, two, and three. I'm holding a proud one. Gotcha. Okay. Got it. Now this is the way to get around at one of these things is to find you a little go-kart like that and let your big sister push you around and mom. I got you on film now. Now, I happen to have here uh, Lisa. Now, Lisa, tell me and the listening audience and viewing audience with Travels with John Stevenson about the Manette Dance Studio. And Lisa, you bought that about a, two years ago, three years ago? Um, we are going on year 12, actually. Oh, my goodness. Yes, goodness. time flies when you're having fun. Now, you didn't tell how old I am. <laughs> <laughs> Still looking young. And, and, and I uh, filmed you all dancing when yep. you were... Probably just little, little very, kid. A little kid. <laughs> we won't say how old we are now, right? No. But yeah, we just had our big recital yesterday. I know, and I reported on that and talked about it a little bit, and it went beautifully, I understand. Yes, yes. We were so glad to be back inside in the theater and showing off all of our passions, ballet, tap, jazz, all of it. And furthermore, um, the um, on ch on YouTube right now, Believe it or not, I've got one of my shows on there right. that I filmed several years ago called History, Music, Butterflies, and the People Who Love Them. Oh, cool. And part of it is a dance recital when Mrs. Magnette, yep. uh, Amy's mother, was in it. Yes. And uh, um, and I'm playing that on YouTube right now along with, oh, I think Billy Graham's Crusade and two or three other things called music, history, butterflies, and the people who love them. Awesome. And then I interspersed some pictures into between the dancing you all were doing. Awesome. And I shot a lot of it. I really enjoyed that. It's a beautiful show. You get a chance to look under there, folks. It's Travels with John Stevenson with a P-H, H-E-N-S-O-N, and it's on YouTube. All you have to do is look it up, and it's also on Facebook under awesome. John Stevenson. So I wish you well to continue to do it and how many students do you have there all together? Uh, we have about right under 500 students at three different studio locations. Isn't that a wonderful? Yeah. So. And it is hard work now. I know it is. It is, but it, it's rewarding. We love it. It is really rewarding yeah. when you see people that go through the whole system like that. Yes. All uh, wonderful young ladies growing up, make they're wonderful citizens, wonderful wives, yep. and, uh, and then generations and they generations back. coming yep. back. Absolutely. Yeah. Man Yet Dance Studio. Now, where would they contact you if they wanted to be a um, You can go to our website, manyetdance.com, and you can see all of our locations and our classes. We have summer sessions starting up next week. So you can check out all those at manyetdance.com. We're also on Facebook and Instagram. You can look up Man Yet Dance. Fantastic. Yeah. It's always nice to see you. Thank God you. bless you. Thank you, John. Thank you so much. All right. Bye now. Bye-bye. Jennifer and Lisa.
pardon my shakiness, folks, but I uh, haven't been feeling well lately. And But this is actually good for me to get out and do this because it gives me encouragement. And uh, I think my leg will get a little better. It's the medicine we're on. I wear this boot for a couple of weeks, thanks to Dr. Charles Tyrone and his wonderful staff, and Miss Rose, uh, his wife, and um, for him putting this wrap around my leg and this boot on and giving me the prescription for the new antibiotic, which is really helping me. So, And thanks to Dr. Neil Mosier for keeping me alive. And, of course, my one of my favorite politicians, uh, Kim Hoare Moser. His wife is uh, my state representative there from uh, 38 McCollum Pike and in Independence. Jennifer's doing a little shopping. I'll have to tell Heidi she can watch this and see Jennifer on there. I've enjoyed this today here with Travels with John Stevenson.